It's morning mindset time. You ready to get your mind saturated with the truth of God? Man, I know I need it. I need it today. I need it every day. It's my lifeblood. It's it's what keeps me on track. Because I don't know if you've discovered this in life, but how you think dictates how you live. Okay, your thoughts. Your thoughts are what steer you throughout life. Think of them as the steering wheel. They're what move you in this direction or that direction. And it's funny here, I'm bobbing back and forth by the microphone. I hope that's not coming out in my voice. But it's your thoughts. It's your thoughts. And that's why this morning mindset is so important. Because you and I have a responsibility to set our minds on God's truth and then to live according to that truth. And I think the living is much more easy to do when the thinking is already in place. And so we're wanting to start out our day here with thoughts about God's truth. And we're looking at the book of Ephesians chapter 1. And I want to encourage you today with this verse. This is a powerful verse. Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 7 tells us of some of the amazing things that God has done for us. It says, in him, that's in Jesus, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Man, it's like Paul got so excited. He just couldn't stop adding little phrases onto that sentence. We're just going to look at the first few today and we'll unpack more in the days to come. It says, in Jesus, we have redemption through his blood. Do you know what that word redemption means? I remember as a kid, my mom went to a grocery store that handed out S&H green stamps with your grocery purchase and you could use those green stamps you could stamp them in these stick them in these little books and take them to the S&H green stamp store which we had one in our little town believe it or not you could go in there with those books of stamps and you could redeem them for merchandise so you got the merchandise by giving something for it that's a small kind of inaccurate picture of what redemption is Redemption is getting something by giving something else for it. And redemption has a positive connotation to it. So the thing that's being redeemed is receiving a good benefit, a good blessing by being redeemed. And so he's saying in Jesus, because of his blood, through his blood, we have redemption. That means we have been redeemed by God through Jesus. And then Paul throws on this little phrase that defines what he means by redemption. He says, the forgiveness of our trespasses. You know what trespasses are? Well, if you're trespassing, you're illegally on someone's property. Well, the word trespassing comes from the word trespass, which means basically to sin. So redemption is the forgiveness of our sins. Let that one sink in for a minute. The forgiveness of everything you have ever done wrong, are doing wrong, or will do wrong, past, present, future. In Jesus, through his blood shed on the cross for us, we have forgiveness of all of those sins. So you are not any more forgiven today than you ever have been, and you will never be more forgiven than you are right now. You are completely, totally And in all other ways, forgiven. You are forgiven. So you can't let those things that threaten to hold you back, those regrets, those feelings of guilt, you can't let those hold you back today. Get your mind right. Get your mind around this truth. You are forgiven. Jesus Christ shed his blood so that you could be forgiven. God sent him to shed his blood so you could be forgiven. You are a forgiven person, so go out and live like a forgiven person, free, full, confident, because the God of the universe loves you and has cleansed you of all your sin. I'll see you tomorrow on The Morning Mindset.